We live in a three-dimensional world where we're used to looking at objects in three-dimensional space, where we have tops, bottoms, sides, and we can take them and move them around in our hands, get a tactile feeling for what that object is like and look at it from different angles. We might have something like a globe that we use in education, so I could look at something like a planet or the moon, rotate it and understand some of the aspects of that object. This is not to scale, by the way. We might have something like a scientific model, where we have something like a brain, which is actually also not to scale. But uh, we can go in here and we can label them, we can understand these objects better just by virtue of the fact that we can manipulate them in that three-dimensional space. Now the problem with all of the models that I've just shown you is that they're limited in scope. For example, what if I wanted to look at a cell? You can get a scientific model of a cell, but then you're limited to that one cell, or a bacterium, or something along those lines. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about a very cool way that I can work in three dimensions by using this here. It's called a merge cube. And what it's going to allow me to do is create a tactile experience of rotating an object in space. But what is that object? It could be a globe. It could be an animal. It could be a brain, it could be a cell, it could be any 3D object that I want to both rotate so I can see different aspects of the object as well as have the tactile feeling of manipulating the object myself in space. The way that the cube works is it's going to go in front of your phone so that the camera can pick up on it. I'm then going to be able to go in and use an application so that I can hold that 3D object in my hand and rotate it. Let's go ahead and take a look at, say, the eye. So I'm going to go in and you'll notice that the cube picks up and the camera picks up the cube and now it gives me a three-dimensional model of the human eye that I can rotate. This allows me to see into the object and see how the different aspects of that object relate to each other. You can have labels on there and I can twist it and turn it as if I was holding a cross section of an eye. If I go in, there are also things such as lesson plans. So if you go into the Explorer, I can go and check out various different lesson plans on different subject areas. So let's say, for example, I wanted to go in and take a look at some genetic material. I can go in, grab a lesson in there, and when I play that lesson, it will read the code off the cube. And now I'm looking at a three-dimensional model of a chromosome, a very small object, obviously not going to be able to look at this in the real world, but just by going in, I can grab that object. A really cool activity is the bacteria, where I can really get a sense for what it looks like inside of a bacteria. So you see that three-dimensional cross-section. I think it gives me a better understanding of what this might actually look like. And uh, again, I can manipulate it, look at the object. You can see I have a cross section cut out of this bacteria. I can look at what resides inside of it. I can turn labels on and off. And that becomes a very useful way for me to have that tactile sensation of rotating and moving that object in that three dimensional space so that I can understand it more fully. I'll put a link for the Merge Cube down below. You can get one of your very own. They're inexpensive. They introduce a tactile experience for the students to manipulate 3D objects without having to go and get a whole bunch of globes or brain models or whatever it is that you might want them to interact with. I find them especially useful for things like biology, where I want to look at the cells, or astronomy, where I want to look at the universe. From the micro to the macro, these are very, very useful devices for learning and teaching.